So this is our second practice with the arm synths. The first one we were discovering that a lot of songs in the samples that I normally play I could not play anymore. Also, I did lose one phone. I originally had two phones and now I just have one. Um, and it's loaded to the gills of everything that I used before. I was able to move some samples around. So this is our second full rehearsal. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here's our set. So I think overall it went pretty well. Cosmic Cream Fraser. There's a really cool effect that I'm still not able to play except for one place in the song. So that's something I'm gonna have to figure out. Squish Funk, that's the one where Mike sings. I think that went pretty well, especially now that I'm only using the tambourine at the very tail end when I'm actually playing less on the K oscillator. Strange structures, I think the biggest problem is that I have to change my vocal effects setting and now I don't have a microphone in front of me so that means I keep having to go and get in Mike's beautiful space. Same thing with voices, um, very cool song. Love having more range of motion but not having access to the microphone stand is a bit of a problem. Heaven I do have an effect I have to play on the K oscillator while I was slow needing to play on the Monster Go DJ, but I think I was able to kind of manage that. Pocket Knife, still a super fun song, still a super easy song to play, and I was able to get my little scratching in. Let's throw back to my DJ days. Decatur Street, also not a super complicated song to play, so I was pretty grateful for that. Glimpse was so problematic with the lights. 
Um, without the lights, it probably would have worked out pretty well. Uh, tranquility was much improved, but then there's some sound level problems. So I think in a nutshell, it went good. I think my biggest thing is I need to get a wrist guard similar to the one on the right hand side. The one mm. that I'm using on the left hand side is actually a jogging wrist guard and it's moving all over the place and that's no good. The other problem is my pants were falling down and that was as a result of me wearing super stretchy pregnant girl pants and I'm not pregnant by the way. And they were falling down and causing the wire to wiggle too much and I was getting some feedback. Other than that, uh, I'm digging the new setup. I'd love to hear what Mike thinks. Well, I, I love your new setup. I, I call it the Mega Man setup. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it seems like every single thing that we're doing is working towards just like being totally portable and fluid in motion. And it's really all performance based and just about like having, feeling the absolute most free that we can on stage. Mike was actually the one who started us down this road of modified instruments by putting his OP-1 on his guitar. I mean, that turned a page for us. We started just with the Monster Go DJ, a phone, and the OP-1, and Mike played the OP-1 for like basically the first whole year that we were together. Then when he attached the OP-1 to the guitar, like I was like, oh man, that is so cool. He really kind of like set the standard and I'm glad to finally be catching up with the rest of the sense. Mm -hmm.